Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. It's Sager262 making a correction slash apology for the Type 74 video. I don't know when these vehicles were added, but in that video I said that they had not yet added the final vehicles to the De La Roche Asian vehicles. That would be the three South Korean high tier AFE and main battle tank. But today I log into the game to play some global operations, which now have already in it for a limited time. Armored Warfare likes to do this every so often. I would say about every eight months or so, they release a public test of what artillery would look like in global operations. And so I always log on and just grind some artillery pieces for the week that they do it. And I notice that these vehicles are not only in game, but they're available for all servers right now. So I picked them up. And I just wanted to say, or correct, because they are here. They are not delayed. The team at Armored Warfare is not behind. I have no idea when they added these. And I was looking the other day, right before the news episode, I didn't see them. So maybe either I missed them, just completely missed them on my own end, or they added them just after that video. But some really cool stuff to show you with these vehicles in a couple of videos coming up. I will be doing full reviews on both the K-153C Raybolt and the AS-21 Redback, which is very cool. I saw this in game while I was playing Global Operations, and it looks brutal, and I cannot wait to drive it. But back to this vehicle, as you just saw what I was looking at, um, they've added crew. Now, I don't know if these crew are actually customizable or whatnot. It doesn't look like it's based on anybody in my, in my crew setup. But there are people inside the vehicle. And I am looking most forward to playing this because it's the closest thing we're going to get to a light utility vehicle in the game after, of course, the... I can't remember its name. Cornet. It's the Gaz Tiger. Cornet. And yeah, so no crew in this vehicle. And I don't think there's any vehicles that use windscreens other than this one. Maybe the VBLs. Nope, all blacked out. So yeah, just wanted to make sure before I said it, that this looks like the first, hopefully not the last, vehicle in Armored Warfare with actual crew as part of its 3D model. So, very cool stuff. Of course, this is just to refresh everybody before the video ends. Two Ray Bolt missiles, which do quite a bit of damage, top down lock on, just like a javelin. But they also get the use of their 50 caliber machine gun, and this is the first 50 caliber machine gun in the game, or 12.7 millimeter. And you can technically do some damage. It only penetrates 35 millimeters of steel, and so what that means is you're probably only going to effectively damage other. K-153s, Cornets, VBLs, the Crab, the Sphinx, really lightly armored vehicles, probably not going to do too much damage, but you can use it, and it is the first one in the game, which is really cool. And of course, to refresh you on the AS-21, this is the APC, it's basically the Bradley 2.0. Um, if you're familiar with the Swedish CR-90, it's a lot more like that vehicle. Um, basically turret two crew members one driver and then a troop complement in the back which will automatically load you out with the main tank squad but you can change that however you want it also gets a 50 caliber machine gun on top you cannot use it and the reason you can't use it is because it has this impressive 30 millimeter peli round that can go through 120 millimeters of armor and as you know peli rounds are bounced by virtually nothing it's usually spaced armor or era blocks compiled with uh, more space armor and slash that stop those so you're going to be penetrating pretty much everything with that round it's the same round as the martyr 2 only this one gets the two ray bolt missiles as well again those are the top down lock on javelin style apgms so all around two very exciting vehicles my two most anticipated vehicles from this now that includes the type 74 but very excited to get these out, so please subscribe to the channel if you want to see the reviews on those vehicles coming up in the next few days. Or just like the vehicle, or like the vehicle, like the video if you like these vehicles and have played them and enjoy them yourselves. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.